Nice to meet you. I think, I think we have Warhorse, I believe. Oh, and yes. Bastards yes, as yes, well. Yes, yes, but you're looking incredibly dapper tonight. Thank you, sir. I, yeah. I, I take that coming from a man so well dressed as a compliment. <laughs> I try, just for you chaps. Okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's been a pretty good year for you, all in all. With uh, it, It's been wonderful, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's been great. Are you, um, I mean, tonight, obviously, there's awards flying around. Are you expecting one? I haven't actually seen the list of nominees tonight. I'm, I'm nominated for uh, Best Newcomer, which is marvellous. Um, uh, really great. I mean, amazing when you think about it. Um, so it'd be nice. Uh, but what I love about these awards is that they're voted for by, by people who love film. And really, that's what I am. I, I was a film fan and uh, a, a cinephile long before I was a, an actor. So that I've been somehow included in... In, uh, in that is, is really great. So I'm curious then, if you're a, if, well, as a film fan, what sort of thing, what, was your, what would you say your favourite film is? My favourite film of all time? You know, I'd recently got asked this by somebody who wasn't in the business at all, and it took me a while to come up with it, and I, I've always said it's heat, and I think it is heat. Michael Mann's heat, and the reason I say that is because I probably watch it once or twice a year and every time I watch it I find something new in it it's it's the most precise thriller really of our modern era <clears throat> if I were to go back I would say <clears throat> there's the conversation um, and uh, the Godfather the Godfather's pretty precise it's pretty damn precise as well but really great filmmaking the, the, the devil or God whichever way you choose to see it is in the detail it's not one shattering performance, it's not just cinematography, it's everything pulling together to make a film really soar. And um, Michael Mann's Heat really soars for me. It's got breathtaking performances from Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, Val Kilmer, Wes Studi, Ashley Judd. Um, uh, who else is in that film? I'm trying to think now. Um, Danny Trejo, John Voight. It's brilliant. There are 15 characters you care about. How often do you see a film where there are 15 characters you care about? Well, indeed. Yeah. And I mean, that, anyway, there you go. no, that's 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 go fascinating to be honest. And yeah. I mean, from your point of view, do you think that is something that you can only get from? Well, I suppose Heat never really was considered. It, it was an action film, really. Yeah, it was. What's amazing about Heat is it was. It's. It is the finest of its kind in terms of a cat and mouse police thriller, a high class cop. Pacino's character, Vincent Hanna, chasing a high-class thief, De Niro's character, um, Neil McCauley. But underneath that, actually, you see that these two men are the same. They're actually, and it, it, it's Michael Mann's treatise on a fatal flaw in masculinity, which is that hard men are more interested in the chase, really, than anything else. And they're both attached to, to, to two women. Pacino has a wife and De Niro has a girlfriend. And neither of them can commit to their women in the way they commit to their work. And, and, and Michael Mann presents that as, as man's greatest tragedy. Tom, I think I'm going to have to let you go. Anyway, in. we, we could go on when about you win tonight, we'll continue this conversation okay. in the press room. All right. Thank you.